Okay guys, so I've been trying to platinum this game for a long, long time, and we all know that hard trophy. <clears throat> the trader, basically, where you buy um, roughly 50 cars from the auction, and then you flip them and sell them for profit, and that's how you get that trophy, the trader. I load my game right now and uh, I've been working on this for the last two weeks trying to um, unlock this trophy but damn it's a, it's a been an, it's been a difficult one so I thought I'd make a a video for you guys so that it would be you know it'd be easier uh, for you guys to obtain it if you guys are, are working to you know, platinuming in this game, and I should have went back to the main menu. What did I load my game for? I want to show you something. If you go to your main menu, let that load real quick, and you go down to extras, and you go all the way down, it says sold fixed cars. So, so far, I have sold 39. So, technically, I just need 11 more, and I will get the trophy. Right, let's go back to load my game. Of course, you're gonna need a lot of money for this. If you don't have a lot of money, then work on that first. Do all the other trophies first, I recommend. So you just buy cars from the auction. Uh, it says here you, you you could also get it from the scrapyard or barn, but uh, I don't know. For some reason, they just I feel more comfortable getting it from the auction because that's more of a challenge. Each car you sell, you're going to have to make some kind of profit out of it, right? Like this car right here, uh, I didn't get too good on um, the price when I got it at the auction. So if I go to car status, why does it say parts 99%? Okay, so the bottom ones are the conditions, the body, frame, parts, and interior. You want all of that 100% before you even sell the car or it's not going to count towards the trophy. So mine says parts 99% why what am I missing here what am I missing ha huh. car battery okay so go on here there it is battery okay I'm gonna go back 100% on all four. Very good. So that's what you need. I want to let you guys know that I buy them all from the auction. Usually the auction on the left side, if you know what I mean. Because uh, there's two different auctions. But I buy, I buy the ones on the left. You need to wash the car on the outside. And you need to wash the car on the inside, the interior. You need to strip the interior, the seats, the bucket seats, the back seats, and the steering wheel all need to be replaced with 100% brand new parts, okay? You need to accept all the exterior parts, meaning doors, windows, bumpers, um, headlights, taillights, all that needs to be replaced with 100% brand new parts, okay? Now, you can buy them all brand new, or you can repair, you know, certain body parts and do that, but that takes longer. I just prefer just buy it. And paste it on there. If you don't have the money, of course, you're going to repair it and paste it on there. Um, now, to fix the frame, you have to use the uh, welder tool, which is over here. So make sure you have this unlocked. This little welder tool, and then you can just move it to where the car is. And you just push a button. Costs you usually 1500 or more, depending on how bad it is, and get all the sparks. And that just removes all the rust from the frame. So you won't see anything on the outside, but if all this fender and body parts were off, like that, you would see rust on here. And you use that welder tool and it takes the rust off. Okay? Make sure you do that because you don't want to miss anything. Always check your car status. Always check the conditions on the bottom right corner. Body, 100%. Parts, 100%. Frame, 100%. Interior, 
100%. That's what you want. You're going to need that in order to um, to sell it and make a profit. Now, I bought this too expensive at the auction, obviously. They highballed me. So my profit is not going to be very much. 16000 that's it. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Now, you don't have to put performance parts or anything on the car. Um, you just replace everything 100% brand new, okay? Um, if any item is not 100%, you'll find them in the jigsaw section right there. I call it jigsaw because it looks like a jigsaw, right? And then you just look through all the parts and every one of them will tell you either 100% or 80% or whatever the percentage of that part is. But once you get it like that, you can sell it. Now, you don't need to fill in... Um, you don't need... If I gotta open this again. If you notice, my windshield washer reservoir cap is uh, there. And it's empty. I have no fluid in there. Okay? Same thing for the radiator. I have no fluid in here either. And if you look at the power steering reservoir, here's the indicator of the fluid nothing in it it's empty also the brake servo brake fluid empty you don't see any liquid inside i didn't even put oil in the engine i do miss this part though i i, I took this uh intake manifold into the paint shop and painted separately so that that's a beautiful color if you didn't know you could do that you can do that with some parts if you want all your parts to look a certain color or whatever and fit them that way i kind of regret putting that part on there that's the only one i have that's green but you have the time, you have the money, you go ahead and paint your parts, and you can have your whole engine. I don't know if you can paint the head covers. I would think you could. There's certain things you can paint, certain things you can't. You'll find out in the paint in the paint room. As you can tell, my shop is fully upgraded. I got everything unlocked. In order to find out what you got unlocked, you go to the little um, toolbox here, and everything is green. Everything's been locked. Movement speed, screw speed. Mount speed, chance to fix, time to examine part, discount. Okay, everything is unlocked. You go to the next tab, you got the garage expansions. Everything has been expanded to its full capacity, as well as all the tools unlocked. Okay, so make sure you have all that before you go doing this. That's why I recommend doing all the other trophies before doing this one. All right, so now that this car here. As you can tell, I didn't paint it or anything. These are the, the parts it came with. So you don't have to paint the car. Again, you don't have to fill in the fluids. You don't have to do wheel alignments. You don't have to do, you know, any of that shit. Okay? You just have to put the car together at 100% parts, 100% frame, 100% interior, and 100% uh, body. Okay? That's including the windows, okay? Windows have to be 100% also. Now, you can't repair windows, so you have to buy them brand new. And that's also including your headlights and your tail lights, as well as the bumper and whatnot. Including the muffler system down below. It has to be everything 100% from bottom to top, okay? So now that my car is 100% on everything, I'm going to move him to the parking area. What? Well, this is embarrassing. Front wheel sizes are mismatched. Oh, kidoki. So it's one of those. Let me put this back. Move this back over here. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, raise this sucker up. Okay, so which one are we talking about here? Let me remove that. And usually I just press down on the D-pad so I can find out what the car uh, tire size is on this. And then I go to the shop, and I press start. It's 255.70.14. Okay. Let's go see what the other tire is. Two fifty five seventy fourteen. Two fifty five seventy fourteen. Wasn't the other one 255.70.14? No, not the rim, you idiot. Tire. Yeah, 255.70.14. So what's the problem? They're both the same. Two 
255.70.14. Wait a minute, am I reading this wrong? What's going on here? 255 70 14 255 70 14 What's the problem? <laughs> These are exactly the same. Move parking garage. Front wheel sizes are mismatched. According to my checking, they're not. So what's the deal? Of course this would happen when I create a new video. Why wouldn't it, right? I haven't made a good video in a long time. Take it off. And check my inventory. Where the heck are you? 215 7514 well it wasn't telling me that when i was marking it so what's the deal here? and this one is 255 7014 there's your problem why wasn't it telling me that before okay so this 215 75 needs to go in the back because it's taller so that means one of these isn't what they say they are. Two fifty-five seventies. Okay, you two need to go in the front. You need to go back here. Two fifteen seventy-five. Yes. Sorry about that, guys. I could totally edit this out, but I'm not going to. There. Now, move car to parking garage. Thank you. Okay. So, if I go to my parking garage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are all 10 that I have completed at 100%. And that last one I just turned in should be this one right here. If I'm not sure, well, that's the color. That should be it. Let's just uh, move him to the garage, which would be out here somewhere. Yep, that's just, that's the one I just turned in. So he's 100%, right? Okay. Go to parking garage. And let's bring in this chieftain. Ah, look at that sexy car. What is this car doing here? Is this car done? No, that's, that's a car that needs to be... Well, we'll leave that there for now. Well, you know what? Let me just move him to... Um, the lifter. There you go. Okay, you stay there. I'll go back out. So there's two cars. This one is 100%. Parking garage. Bolt Supernova. Let's bring him in. I guess that's him. He's white. 100%. Okay. Even though when you look at it, it shows it yellow, so I guess that's the original. No, that's not the original. The factory color is white, but there, for some reason, they show it yellow. Okay. 100%, 100%, 100%. Okay, so these three cars. Remember, I had 39 already sold. So, what we do is we go to car status, scroll all the way to the right, and sell it. I only made 16,000. Sell car, let's go. 16,000 profit, that is. Gone. Next. Going to the right, so this one, and this one, 
Wow, I only made a profit of 2000 on that one, which means I paid too much for it. But I think as long as you make a profit, it counts. All right, so that's three cars. Let's move on down the list of the parking garage. We'll bring these suckers in. And there we go. It's all 100%. Parking garage. And this fastback's supposed to represent the Mustang, I believe. 100%. Bring another one in. Parking garage. I like this car. I don't know what the um, the car is in real life. Maybe a 57 Bel Air? I would think it's a 57 Bel Air. Look at it. It's beautiful. Let's see. 100%. Look at the wheels. See? Look at the wheels. Down there. So the wheels don't matter. They don't have to be the same ones that the, you found them with. Okay? You can put whatever. I use this particular wheel for a lot of cars because I just bought a shit ton of rims and a shit ton of tires and I just fitted them and put them all on there. Okay? Alright, so let's sell these three cars. Oops, wrong button. Uh, car status, blah, 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 blah. Sell car. I love how they magically disappear. It's beautiful. Sell car. Sell car. Alright, let's bring in three more. So you only can have three out here. Another Chieftain Bandit. Now this, I love this car. I really do. This car is basically the, um, they called it the Bandit because of Smokey and the Bandit movie back in the day in the 80s with Burt Reynolds. And the Trans Am, this is basically a Trans Am. See, those are the rims that I use for a lot of the cars. Beautiful freaking car. Too bad the Trans Am got more action than the Camaro. I prefer Camaro, to be honest. Also, if you want to speed up time, build your own engines. Don't bother dismantling the engine from the car that you bought. Don't bother dismantling. Just get the... Um, let me show you. Just get this sucker over here, right? Engine crane. Put it in front of the car over here. Make sure you disconnect the uh, transmission and the exhaust pipes underneath in order to pull the engine out. Then once you pull out the engine, you can put in a new engine after you build it here on the engine stand. You can build the engine right here. Any one of these engines. Make sure that before you create that engine, make sure that this car is able to take that engine. When you go here, you go to car status. And you go to the right tab, which shows the engine. Swap options on the bottom left. V8, one carburetor overhead valve. V8, two carburetor overhead valve supercharged. V8, overhead valve. Um, I don't know what that 6P stands for. Then you got the V8, two carb overhead valve. And then V8, overhead valve mag. Okay. Those are the engines you can put in this particular car so you can swap that one out and put it in instead of you know taking the time to dismantle it repairing the little parts and then put it in there just buy all new parts and create the engine on the engine stand and then get the cherry picker that's what we used to call it engine crane pull it over here dismantle this engine from the transmission underneath let me pull this up real quick This is just the speed of the time to get this trophy. So, lift it all the way up. And you're going to take off. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You're going to take off the transmission, the starter. And then you're going to take off the very first exhaust pipe, which is... It's not that one. The front exhaust pipe. That's the one you want to take off. You take it off this side and this side. So, both sides. And the transmission, as well as the uh, drive shaft. And then the engine is now free to be removed with the engine crane. Okay? That's just a quick way of doing this uh, trophy a lot quicker. And that helped me a lot. But of course, you're going to need a lot of money to do so. Okay? Alright, let's bring the other cars in from the parking garage. Boat Supernova. 
Now, I think the Bolt Supernova is copying the old Chevy Nova back in the day. Chevy Nova did not sell very good in Mexico because Nova in Spanish means no go. It doesn't move. So nobody bought it because they thought it was a piece of junk. Okay. Little fact there. 100%. All right. Next car. Parking garage. The boat roll it. Now this is a um, their version of the Camaro. I would say this is a second generation, probably 71 to 81. Yeah, very beautiful color on this one. I like it. Now you see the. Uh, does everybody see the the resemblance here? Look at that rim and tire. Look at that rim and tire, and look at that rim and tire. I told you I bought a bunch of those. And use those instead of using the stock tires that it came with. Alright. Enough jibber jabber. Let's sell these suckers. It's not 100%, right? <laughs> Don't want to sell something that isn't. here hopefully we get the um the trophy if we don't then i'm gonna be pissed off <laughs> chief dip bandit another bandit okay this one's all in black sexy sexy in black 100 percent you know what this is um let's just sell him right now Bring in the other one, parking Bolt Reptilia. This is the um, their version of the convertible uh, Corvette. And I would say this is a Stingray Corvette because of the wide hips on the back here. It's got hips in the back and it's got hips in the front. I would say this is a convertible Stingray Corvette. And if I were to guess the year, uh, I don't know. I like the ones from the 90s. Okay. This one is 100%. Sell it. Trophy, baby. Just got it. Greatest collection ever. Platinum, baby. So, follow those steps that I explained to you in this video. And I hope you can platinum this game as well. I am signing off. Take care, guys.